Hey, hi, hello, how are you? I'm Pia and today I'm going to be doing my February TBR. So if you didn't see last month's TBR, I am now using a TBR jar to pick out uh, prompts <laughs> that I'm going to fill in with my uh, books that I'm planning on reading in the month. Last month it actually went really well. I think I only didn't read one of them. Here's the issue. <laughs> I don't remember how many I picked and I'm not going to check the video. <laughs> so I think I picked four. You know what? We're just going to see how we feel. Okay. <laughs> this is really like unsatisfying because it's like not filled at all. <laughs> a booktube recommendation or a booktuber recommendation. So uh, maybe like a specific booktuber has like been hyping up a specific book or just one that's beloved on booktube. So think about that. <laughs> I'm staring at a book right now and I'm like, <laughs> I don't know if I'm emotionally prepared for you. I'm going to go with, for this prompt, Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson. This was, she's no longer on YouTube, but Witty Novels. This was her favorite book of 2019. I even started it way back when, you know, but I didn't finish it. I think I need to make a new prompt in my TBR jar that's like, finish a book you already started because that would be like, you know, at least a list of like 15 books. <laughs> I'm gonna dive back in. So we're gonna go with this. So this is a 2021 release. <gasps> I have the perfect one. I think this is my only pre-order that I have right now from 2021 or that I made in 2020. Whatever. <laughs> it is You Have a Match by Emma Lord. This is about two girls finding out that they're sisters or at least like one of them finds out that she has a sister and then she follows the sister to like King. And I loved Emma Lord's first book, Tweet Cute. It was so good. I've heard good things about this one but not as good as Tweet Cute but I am still very excited just because I love her voice and I love her writing style. So there we go, my 2021 release. And this came out in January. <laughs> All right, diving back in. Where are we going? Where are we getting? Okay, so this says a young adult. That's funny because actually none of the books that I picked out that I was like thinking about are young adult. I think for this I'm going to go with Girl Made of Stars. I don't know why. Um, this is, I think the only, no, not the only Ashley Herring Blake book I've never read. And this is her, one of her young adult ones. I've actually only read her middle grade books um, and loved those. But I know this is a really hard hitting topic. I believe it's about a girl, a girl who was sexually assaulted by I think her brother's best friend. I just, I've heard amazing things about this. Um, and that it's a really hard-hitting read and I think that um, it's going to be a worthwhile one. So I do want to pick this up this month. I go with one more. Or is that like stupid? How many did I do last? <laughs> I don't remember. Okay, and then adult fiction. That's funny. I'm going to go with one to watch. Um, this is a romance novel about a plus-sized girl who goes on a show kind of like The Bachelor. Yeah. It's apparently gonna have like a lot of drama, a lot of good times. I have the audiobook out from my library and I'll probably read along with it or just listen to it, who knows. But I've heard pretty good things about this one. Um, so it's been on my on my list, on my TBR for a while, so might as well pick it up. Also, February, month of love. Unprepared book tour. <laughs> oh, a sequel. I got this last month. <laughs> I picked this out last month, but I did not read it. Spoiler for my uh, wrap up, but Star Sight by Brandon Sanderson the fuck is on my books. Anyway, this is Star Sight by Brenda Sanderson. It is the sequel to uh, Star Skyward, <laughs> which is over here, and I need to read it. I was dying to read this last year, last year, last month, and I just ran out of time, and I just need to read it. And then a couple other books that I'm planning on reading next month, this month, February, <laughs> are Recursion by Blake Crouch. I could have also picked this for adult fiction. It doesn't really matter. And this is about an epidemic. It's about disease and a mystery, and life. <laughs> um, I also have the audiobook out from this one and I've heard this is really cool and I got this from my friend Conrad so I'm really excited to read this. And then I also have here Virginia Woolf's The Waves. I need to start like reading things that are like out of my comfort zone. <laughs> Although I do love Virginia Woolf and I love her writing and I don't even know what is this about. Six children, three boys, three girls playing in a garden at sea. Follows their lives as they grow up, experience friendship, love, grapple with the, de the death of their beloved friend. Instead of describing their outward expressions of grief, Wolf draws her characters from the inside. Which is what I love about Wolf, because she really gets into that inner monologue and the, that like inner sight and uh, inner self. And I, oh, I love it. She is a master. That is why I do want to read this one. And because it's just been staring at me and I'm like, I, I want you. I need you. <laughs> I burn for you, okay? I'm also thinking about reading <laughs> The Duke and I. I'm just reading the Bridgerton, Bridgerton series. I, all, although, I do know that um, I've heard a lot of uh, bad things about it. <laughs> just things that, like, the show is a lot 
better and like improved things in the book. I just heard that there's one scene that's like really questionable and I'm like not excited about it. So I might read it. Let me know if I should read it. Or let me know when that scene is and I can just skip it. <laughs> help a girl out. Okay, anyways, those are all the books that I'm planning on reading in February, the shortest month. So I picked out 10 books. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven books. I can't count. Let me know in the comments what you guys are planning on reading in February or if you've read any of these books and want to give me uh, your thoughts, opinions, recommendations. Yeah, that's it. Make sure to like and subscribe, do all of the things, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!